What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add this rich text editor to our app with Flask and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add this rich text editor. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books. One time fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add this rich text editor. So we can add bold text, italics, strike through all the things. We can do some other things here. Eventually we'll set it up to where we can add images. We'll probably do that in the next couple of videos. Uh, but all the normal things you would see from a rich text editor. And when it's done, you can see I've created a little post here. There's bold, there's italic. When we click on this, it's also bold and italic. All the good things. So that's what we're going to set up in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the Flask videos of this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So before we get into this, we need to actually head over to our terminal and pip install something. So let's head back over to our terminal, break out of our server, and we're going to be using something called the CK Editor. Now this is a popular rich text editor that I've used for other things like Django. It has a Flask version and that's what we're gonna install today. So let's pip install this like normal. I'm in my C Flasker directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. It's important that your virtual environment is turned on for this. So let's go pip install. And this is just flask dash CK editor. Okay, so that looks good. So let's just flask run our server again. And if we head over here, you can see we have the normal text editor box when we want to add a blog post. So we need to now actually install this thing. We've pip installed it. Now we need to add it to our app and our program. So it's fairly straightforward, the installation process. Just head over to our hello.py file. And before we do that, let me just pull up the documentation here. It's flask cketitor.readthedocs.io. And you can see here it is, flask ck editor. Just click on installation and this will walk you through the installation. There's also some different options if you want to get into this and do other things. We'll be talking about a lot of these things going forward in the next few videos while we set all of this up. In this video, like I said, I just want the basic functionality set up for this thing. So we can see the first thing you need to do is pip install it. We've done that. Now we need to add these lines of code to our main file here. So let's head back over here. We've got our hello.py file. And the first thing we need to do is from Flask CK Editor, import the CK Editor. So, okay. Now we need to add an instance of our app. So if you want to walk through this, you can see here's our app name, we need to add this line underneath it. So let's head back over to our code. And there's that line, we've already got that right. So we can add this in there too. And let's say uh, add CK editor, whatever. So this is a alternative installation we don't really need. So we can skip that here. Now we need to include this in our the page where we want to actually use this thing. So we could put this anywhere in the body, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and let's head back over to our code and let's go to our templates. And let's find the add post page. Here it is. And just anywhere in here, we can add this guy right there, CK editor dot load. All right, next, we come through here and it comes with several different versions, the basic standard full standard all the default is standard. So we're just gonna use the default for now. But if you want to play around with that, you can read about that here. Now, in order to use this, there's several different ways. Now we use what the forms WTF forms. So you want to come down here to those specific instructions. And you can see, we need to install this thing with our form stuff. So let's copy this line, head back over here. And remember, we set up a file that splits apart our web forms into a file called webforms.py. So we can click on that and add that guy there. Looks good. Head back over here. Now we need to add this line to our actual form itself and say, you know, hey, for this specific field in our database, use this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Head back over here and we're using the post form. And you can see content is the normal text box that we usually do, right? So underneath that, I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to comment out content. And now we just change this to content or whatever you've named that field. And so that's going to be content. Now we still want to validate the thing. So I'll add this. We don't need to tell it it's a text area. It'll take care of that stuff itself. It knows what it is already because it's a specific thing, right? A rich text editor, it knows that. So, 
Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and save that. Head back over to the docs. Now we need to actually call this cketitor.load on the page itself where the form is. So we can just copy this, head back over to our code, and that's gonna be our add post page. And if we come down here, we can see here's our form content label and form content thing itself. We can leave that on there, but you'll notice underneath the closing form tag is where we wanna put these two lines of code. So that's right there. And now this is gonna actually load it. Now up here, we put this earlier, so we don't need that anymore because we're using what the forms and it's slightly different. The name here, body, that's not the name. We know the name is content because that's what it says right here. And that's also what we have on our web forms, right? Content. So, okay, that looks good. And that should do it. So after we've added those two things, go ahead and save this, head back over to the website and let's try and add a blog post and boom, now we get the editor. So this is a rich text editor test. Woo hoo. And so now let's come on here and let's say rich text and let's make this bold. And let's take this and make it italic. And let's submit and see if this works. So we submit, oh, we need a title. So let's say CK editor test. And then test. Okay, so submit this. Blog post submitted successfully. If we go back to post, now you're gonna see something interesting. There's actual HTML being output. It's not actually making the things bold or italic. And if we click on this, same thing here. So we need to make one quick change. Let's head back over to our code and let's go to our posts.html page and come down here to the content. And we just need to put a little flag here that says safe. And this will allow us to use HTML on the page. So if we come back here and check our post page, now we see there's bold and italics. If we go to this page, it still has this. So we also need to make that same change on this page as well, the individual blog post page. So head back over to our code and that's gonna be post.html. Come down here, find the content section. And again, just put this safe. This is safe for HTML basically, right? We'll go ahead and save this, head back over here. Hit reload, boom, now we've got rich text. So very cool, very easy. It only took us a couple of minutes to install that entire thing and uh, not much to it. Now, there's other things involved here. You know, we can add an image, but we haven't really set that up yet. We'll need to do that in a future video. There's some other things like when we wanna edit a blog post right here, right? This has tags, we want this, we want the rich editor to show up here and we'll have to install that. We'll do that probably in the next video, but the basic functionality of this thing is up and running and it was just that easy and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 for all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.